markets have indeed changed color, so down about 0.1%. Uh, the Nifty is at that 10,780 mark, so moving away from 10,800. But it's time to dig below the surface and tell you what stocks are moving and shaking. And Jet Airways is a stock which is on our radar right now. We understand from reports that key lenders like State Bank of India, PNB, have agreed to provide 500 crore of emergency funding to the cash-strapped airline. Sonia, uh, more details on this? Yes, in fact, this is what reports are indicating that, uh, you know, in order to function until the restructuring plan is finalized, there's a 500 crore package that the two biggest lenders, SBI and PNB, will be giving out to Jet Airways. But this emergency funding is subject to other lenders in the consortium not objecting to this. Uh, the funding will only be until the restructuring... Uh, uh, terms have been finalized. Uh, now remember, SBI is the largest lender to Jet Airways. It has an exposure of almost 2,000 crores. Uh, CNBC TV18 though has not independently verified this report. There are separate reports indicating that a majority of shareholders at the EGM have approved the bailout plan. The bailout plan, remember, will see a conversion of the airline's debt into equity in favor of the lenders. I did reach out to the management. They said that the final details of the EGM will be announced latest by tomorrow. Um, this, of course, all of this is positive news for but on a separate issue, there's still negative news flow. A lot of the lessers of Jet Airways have decided not to disburse fresh, air, uh, fresh, uh, you know, airlines or even uh, restrict uh, sort of the use of the current airlines because uh, until the restructuring plan is not finalized. So from the lessers, there's still a bit of uh, concern that has come through. However, today the stock is reacting to the fact that some emergency funding of 500 crores will come through from SBI and BNB. That's not a small amount for sure. I mean, 500 crores, if the lenders agree to be that gracious, it uh, perhaps is going to be some much needed liquidity for this airline. Thank you, Sonia, very much for getting us the update on Jet. Let's move to the next stock that's on our radar. And this one has been soaring away over the last couple of days. Let's get Reliance Nippon on the screen first. Uh, as of now, it's still holding on to big gains. In fact, I'm talking 8.5%, 9%. Not just Reliance Nippon. Look at what's happening to Reliance Capital as well. In fact, the entire ADAG group is once again swinging on the upside. The news uh, deals more with Reliance Nippon and Reliance Capital. Let's go to Abhishek and understand what is happening here. So, hoping for a little help from the Japanese, Abhishek. Well, uh, you know, ADAG Group has indicated that they are exploring a stake sale, a stake sale option in the mutual fund business with uh, Nippon Life Insurance. To put things into perspective, both Nippon Life as well as Reliance Capital hold about 42.88% each in Reliance Mutual Fund. So if Nippon actually buys out the 42.88% in Reliance Mutual Fund, uh, you know, uh, about 26% stake sale may trigger an open offer. If you look at the public holding, it's at 14.24 percent so the acceptance of buying out the entire public option is also there and due to this you know uh, the firm may get delisted because 90 percent above with a single promoter or the promoter holding can actually lead to delisting of the company from exchanges so even without delisting the market may uh, give a premium to the valuation given the fact that nippon life is uh, taking over as the promoter we had broken this story on 14 feb that you know uh, nippon is eyeing the uh, mutual fund business of uh, Reliance Capital. Back to you. Thank you, Abhishek, for that. And the stock of the day today is Kotak Mahindra Bank, albeit on the way down. It's the top nifty loser. And uh, Nimesh Shah is, good, is here to tell us why. Nimesh? Hi. So, you know, as we all know that uh, ING has sold its entire 3% 3, 3 stake in Kotak Mahindra Bank today via block deal. It's a clean out trade, so to speak. So, no further supply coming in from ING. Uh, you know, the block was done at a 3.5-4% at a discount to the yesterday closing price. And maybe that's the reason why the stock is under pressure today. Uh, but it's a clean out trade, so they've sold the entire 3% 3, uh, 3 stake in ING uh, uh, in Kotak Mahindra Bank today. Uh, we have a confirmation for that as well. Uh, you know, from near on, I think all the eyes will be on what uh, what happens to the Uday Kotak stake in, uh, in, in Kotak Mandra Bank. That's something which is still still pending and it's in the high court. But as things stand, as for today's state is concerned, ING has sold its entire 3% stake at an average price of around 1240. Uh, and, and it's a clean out rate, so no further supply coming in uh, as far as Kotak Bank is concerned. Okay, so at least that's one deal done and one uncertainty out of the way. Thanks, Nimesh, for getting us the latest on Kotak Mahindra. Stock is still down 4%. Uh, let's look at some of the other movers and shakers. Anisha is uh, looking at everything that's happening in the broader market. Anisha, what's on your list? Hi, Surabhi. Good afternoon. I'll start with GVK because that one is seeing a double-digit gain up anywhere between 15 to 20% after reports suggest that Adani Group might be interested in picking up around 23.5% stake in the Mumbai airport business. Now, remember this 
stake currently is held by some South African entities and given the valuations and the expectations, GVK is also moving higher. Moving on to the other news and this one is on the defence sector. Remember Aero 2019 summit is going on in Bengaluru and a lot of memorandum of understandings and MOUs have been signed by a lot of defence companies. Today in focus are stocks like Bharat Electronics, BEML as well as Dynamatic Technologies. Lastly, keep an eye out on SIS Technologies as well because they have made a small acquisition. They are looking to pick up 51% stake in platform for a group company and they are going to pay up around 6.5 crores for the same. So small acquisition but the stock is excited. Back to you. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Anisha, for joining in. A quick recap then of the top buzzing stocks at noon. Kotak Mahindra Bank, Jet Airways, Reliance Nippon, Asset Management, Reliance Capital. In fact, uh, the entire ADAG pack, GVK Infra, Adani Enterprises, BEL, Dynamatic Technologies, BEML, and finally, SIS. Let's go.